Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Firewatch. Now, Birdie is in there, very creepy, and I've got Turt Reynolds! Bernie and- Birdie, Bernie? Bernie and Turt Reynolds, and I'm apparently a Bond villain that's gonna be a really funny drawing when I finally, or hopefully finally, meet Julia. I really hope, and this is me predicting the future like I do sometimes, you know, because I'm a genius and everything and I need to be building a window and I totally forgot what I was supposed to be doing, but I'm hoping, very much so, that it's not gonna be the circumstance where I go to her area because something horrible has happened. Because it seems like there might be a psychotic psycho somewhere in this forest, and that's not okay. Thunk, thunk, don't even need nails. I just hammer that physically into the window form frame. I was a carpenter. You know, once, once you get high enough level of carpentry, I got that window you don't need anything. Up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. Hmm. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, oh. God. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when oh, you're mentally prepared God. for that task, and, uh, I'll give it to you. Oh, God! Oh, God, no! I'm gonna lose my mind psychotically! I was the psycho! I'm the crazy- Okay, anyway, enough psychoticness. I've got Bernie for that. Forest Burns, how are you going? <sighs> it's gonna be okay. Alright, so there's gotta be something else around here. Something else that could be manly thermos. Very appropriate. There's got to be something else that I'm missing, unless there's absolutely not. Uh, do I need to type it all? Pick my typewriter. Board window is fine. Books. And worry. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. Good. Nice script reading. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Uh-huh. Yep. You know, I'm going to hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay, <laughs> really ready now. Wait, what, what would I do if I was hiking around? Is it just going to flash forward to September 1st? Is there going to be a whole lot of nothing that's going on? I'm going to go out of my mind if I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so if I'm really thinking about this, I guess, like, what else would I do? I don't really have any idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, now that I have ropes and everything, I should be able to get to where I need to go, but... Till then, I guess. I guess I I, I I I guess I'm ready. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get uh -huh. to work. Okay. Good. Now get to work. Oh. What? No! What the hell? What? I didn't know that was gonna be the thing that was gonna happen. What is that? Is that was that supposed to happen? How did I just fast forward through time? Grief, having a nice afternoon. Oh God, it's gorgeous. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Oh no. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Oh no. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh no. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. It's worth something. mentioning, of course it is. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, yeah. Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I was having such a good time over here, worrying about time moving forward. Oh, God! Oh, the time! Oh, Lordy Lou! Oh, no. Man, so something happened to those Henry. girls. Henry, wake up. Okay, got it. Bernie, you still there? Hello! I've been keeping watch. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. You got it. In my own time. Hello there. Hello. How are you doing? It's good to see you, but trouble lurks around every corner. <laughs> okay, all right then. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What? Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah. 
It's good here. It's beautiful, you know. <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Wait. Whoa! Kuh! Um... Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Hmm. I have nothing to comment about that. I have no opinion on the subject. I am so, walking robot. Like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just what? thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. What? I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Good. Mechanical uh, conversations. Look, so, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. <sighs> Oh, he's incredible, caring, <laughs> sexy as hell. Mm, he was a driller down in Casper. Is that a euphemism? We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> Then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Man, this got really heavy really quickly. I mean, like, really heavy. That's, that's a lot of information to drop on somebody. But I'm assuming over the 33 days that have passed, and I'm assuming I got Turt Reynolds in a terrarium in my butt, that everything is A-OK -okay and we're getting to know each other very well. But again, I have no opinion on that. Whatever you said, it was like wind in my ears. Okay. Wait, which am I? I am Two Forks Lookout. Okay, so this in the middle is mine. I'm not going to be greedy about it. I don't even know if I can carry it with me. Nope, shoved it up my butt just like everything else. Okay, so, supply cash. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Uh-huh. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Oh, how dare you? Okay! <laughs> That's a big jump in time. Are we gonna get some more information about the missing girls? Because that seems to be pertinent to the situation. Oh God, no! Front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Oh boy. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny, or something practical, or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Oh gosh, that's- that's a big, big fire, flapjack fire. What about Delilah? <laughs> the flapjack so, fire. no ideas, huh? Delilah? 
Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. Oh. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, the name changed. All right, then. Wait, so we're going to be stuck... There's this creek down the hill, and, um... You know what my favorite thing to do is? Skinny dip? Is it skinny dip? What's that? It's skinny dip, isn't I it? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Oh, and then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. Mm. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. Mm. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Oh, that's so good. You'd like it there. <laughs> uh oh. Whoa, flirty time! If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um, you know. Someone's probably listening in. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Oh. Well, that took a turn. I mean, I didn't have to select those options, You're obviously. Going fishing without a license? Hey, find me! I'm a fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. I'm a dirty, rotten that poacher. Me. I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Uh, there was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh huh. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Problem bear. Oh, God. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like <laughs> how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Uh-huh. Sure. Well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm your hero, Nine Shining Armor. Gosh, that is odd. Now I gotta think about the repercussions of flirting with Delilah. I mean, obviously, if you were in a situation where you were isolated from every other human being and there was only one person that you could talk to, you might build a connection with them. Especially if you both have, you know, sad parts. What is this? Hello. Someone left their clipboard out here. Doing studies huh. and shit. Well, Science is our Lord. Game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Uh, how do I, how do I... Do I gotta- do I gotta put away this? There we go. Hufwish! Okay. What is- oh. What was- oh, I saw the name Jules on that! What? Uh, it's- holy shit. What's uh -oh. going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. Way. Uh oh. Wait, whoa, hold on. Something's out here. Whoa. What was that? Henry. I'm worried. Yeah, me too. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Uh oh. No, I did not. Just, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Okay, Buckaroonie. I don't know why I just called you that. I don't know either, but let's just. Ignore the flapjacks and buckaroonies, and let's just get on out of here. What is that? Oh. 
I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. <laughs> oh, oh, God! Ow! Why? Why would you do that? Henry, are you there? Why would you do that? What happened, Henry? Oh, I, gosh. Holy hell, I just, I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Uh -huh. Are you are you sure you saw what? what you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. Ooh. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds... crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in, in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. No, they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Uh, it would be wise to leave. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. You mean like, like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape oh, from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Yeah, you got it, boss. What the hell is that? Was that always there? Did I leave that there before? I can't exactly remember. This is getting a little weird. This is getting a little disturbing. I mean, we went two months without actually, you know, doing much. I'm not talking about that, not talking about that. But I'm two months after the girls went missing without doing much and seeing a strange man and having someone break into my own lookout tower. That seems like a lot of crisis situations that should have been addressed earlier than this. I mean, I don't know how I could have slept soundly like that. Well, I wouldn't have been able to, but Henry would. That's weird stacking. Okay, oddly intentional. Good thing I have enormous amounts of rope shoved up my butt along with Bert, Turt Reynolds and... I believe a box of supplies with food, beef jerky, and prunes. But I'm not 100% sure about that. Hello. Hi, fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. I can't it's climb it. It's impossible. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Maybe I could bash open the thing with my thing? And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I <laughs> <think you're... laughs> Damn it. That didn't work. Man, this will work eventually. <laughs> okay. How about Turt Reynolds? Maybe that's going to do something about... Oh. Can't get in. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this. I'll place. never climb it. It's impossible. Oh, Whoa! I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hmm. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn—they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Hmm. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, Gee. they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay, sounds good. Just get the assistance of a bunch of burly men. Okay, where am I going? 
Science Josie River? Something river? I don't see names on this, so I'm assuming that's Thunder Canyon. Five Mile Creek. Ruby River. Okay. So I gotta go down to the scout camp over there. And I'm guessing either go to the medicine wheel, whatever the hell that is, or back to my lookout and drop down over there. Either way, that's where I gotta go, so I gotta go start going back, so. Off we go! Into the weirdness! I have no idea why or how any of this is happening. Why would anyone bother with that? If someone's got a fence cordoned off in the middle of nowhere, you know, you'd think that we in the lookout towers and constantly going around here would've noticed that, because that's pretty obvious. Oh man, this is the slowest, silliest climb I've ever done. It's always good to be completely perpendicular to the rock wall when you're climbing it. Okay, good enough for me. Whew, I'm too fat and old for this. Okay, anyway. They recorded our dirty talk. They recorded our sexy conversations. I feel so violated. Turt Reynolds, I hope you didn't hear any of that. I heard everything, Mark. You're really weird, and you have a lot of fetishes that aren't listed on the internet. But the internet has all the fetishes. Well, you made some new ones, and it's really bizarre. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh-oh. Music kicked in. Does that mean that something's happening? Oh. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Huh, no way! You've only been here for a decade. How did you not know? Okay, so I gotta continue down this way, and then... Oh. Oh, I did lay a line over there. I'm assuming that it laid lines imagining if throughout the two months that I've been here already that I would have traveled around here and used all the plethora hey, of rope I, I had. called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Uh-huh. Should we call the cops Can or the forest the, service the and, and the let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? Yes. All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Will do! Hey, w will you just said keep my radio close to me yeah before i got attacked back at the lake i saw a radio on the ground kind of like the one i use and do you think that maybe someone was you know uh i don't know what maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something henry <laughs> It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. You just- Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. It, it's a radio. It broadcasts on a frequency, and anyone tuned into that frequency can pick it up. Literally anyone. It's not like a two-point, like, like zero-point communicator with quantum entanglement. It's I literally on anything. On yet, but I don't- have a good feeling. Thank you. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Yes, thank you about talking about my imminent demise. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're, you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Or am I? Or is this the wow, guy? It's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel <sighs> out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? No, I sure haven't. No. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Okie dokie then. I'm just gonna carry on because that was probably something that I should have discovered way earlier than that. And also, thank you for talking about all the paranoid, you know, cliches talking about my demise and whatnot. And how soon I am to going home. I found where they did the controlled burn. Uh-huh. I can hike right through here now. 
Yeah, Yarr. normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks. Yeah. Now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. It's very beautiful. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Good question. Someone gets fired. Wait. Ah, shit. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Ugh, are you serious? Ha. Huh. Oh, come ha -ha. on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Uh-huh. Sure. Through blind rats. With the front turned off? Okay. Is there anything else of importance over here? No, just a new area. Okay, so that's the controlled burn, and then I just follow the path down to the scout camp. Okay, sounds good to me. I'm off. Oh, man. I mean, there's obviously some secret, but maybe this kid that they keep talking about and bringing up, maybe he has an obsession with Delilah and has just been living out in the woods and stalking her and listening in to her conversations and got very jealous of a certain Hank Henry talking to her lassie. Hey, is that my fishing pole? Oh no, that's a, what, that's a ski? Why is there a ski here? This isn't weird enough to report. It's, this is a little interesting, don't you think? There's a ski in a big tree. Boy, I gotta pee. Oh, everybody, look at me. Oh, I'm filled with such glee. Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's June fire. Ooh, okay. Uh, that way. Why is that not important enough to report? That looks like straight out of like, you know, straight out of uh, maybe it'd be better with the backdrop over there. Maybe it'd be better with the fire. Oh, that'd be so good. Let me see if I can get that shot. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh God, the stupid rocks in the way. Oh, that's a bunch of baloney. Ah, maybe the composition of the rock is actually okay. That's pretty cool. That's pee cool. Uh, okay, good enough. Hope that turned out okay. My idea of good photography is probably not analogous to analogous to everything out there. To your guys' opinions. I use big words to cover up my stupidity. That's what I do. And I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm an idiot. Alright, anyway. Are we almost there yet? Maybe? Maybe not? Turt Reynolds, say something. Now you're on your own this time. Thanks, Turt. You're always such help to me. Oh, God. Why are there ski -doos? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Ooh. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's Ooh. weird, right? I mean... I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used pork to be pond. a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Because of the pork? Why was that? Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Oh, someone was stealing it. I know who. Their name rhymes with Mamila, Mamima, Maflimla, Magablimlo. No, it doesn't rhyme with Magablimlo. I want to be very clear about that. Camp Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. You're there. Uh huh. Yeah, I am. It's been out there since the fifties. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. Oh no, it's, it's something about impossible. men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Well, that's a little paranoid, don't the you think? The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. Of course. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Yeah, I can only break my legs doing that. I could just, you know, go down a few feet into the ravine, also known as a crick not smash my face open on every rock. Long drop down. Oh god, no. Maybe there's just a space over there? Nope, this is the only way. The only way possible. Hip, hip. Okay, everything turned out okay. So I'm not gonna be able to get back, am I? 
Nope, nothing about that. Huh. I mean, I got a bad feeling about this. I mean, I know I'm the only person out here, but why wouldn't me and Delilah team up? And I'm not just looking for an excuse to go to her lookout tower, but it doesn't look good. You ever talked to any of the scouts? <laughs> Well, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. Weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. I see an axe over there. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here unless there's something buried in the rubble that's actually important to a clue, but I doubt that very much, and I don't think there's a supply cache drop around here. Nope. Okay. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this axe, and I'm assuming that the axe is gonna let me get into the area. Smash it up with a rock ain't good enough for anybody. Uh oh. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. Uh! And I'm <laughs> holding it. Maybe drop it? I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? Now that's a real mystery. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it very closely. It's even still got poop on it. Why am I holding it? <laughs> hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Huh. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Hmm. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. Mm. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Uh, you got me. Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Okay, will do. I mean, all I see is the poop trowel and the axe, so... Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, baby. I'm off with my axe to axe that fence question. I believe Flabler. Okay, got it good. I'm a strong man. I don't think there's any other supplies over there because they kind of said a finality to it. There's like, I'm done. I'm out of here. So, oh, I know what I can do here. Heblip. I'm an eco terrorist. Conk. Blonk. Smonk any day now. There we go. Boy, I was very scared about falling. All those branches were shaking and shimmying. Okay. Hip. Very elegant. Definitely not a 40 something year old man. Alright, so there's gotta be a shortcut back or straight to the tower. Or not, because there's absolutely nothing. But there's gotta be something over here because I would very much assume that there could be something that easily is overlooked. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh gosh, there's nothing. Okay. I guess I just gotta go back and confront these son bitches. I mean, that would actually make sense if they were doing a study about isolation because, like, maybe they had a bunch of reported, like, suicides out here and whatnot. Oh. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yar. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Pork pond. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. 
Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Okay then! You got me really creeped out here! Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh. uh you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me Whoa. out of here. Hello, Bernie. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Okay, I get it. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure I'm it's in ship right shape. At, I'm looking right at it. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Yeah. Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um... Internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Oh, he took off his ring. Oh, God! Oh. Uh... I just meant to set it. I meant to set it gently on there! That's his decision, not mine. I could put it back on. That would be really sad. Oh man. Is that, a, is that important to something? Bernie, tell me what to do! I don't know. Maybe you should decide for yourself. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're of no help. Hey, Turt Reynolds, can you tell me what to do? Buddy? 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 No? No, buddy? Okay. Right. Whoa! I meant to put him back, but I guess I'm taking him with me! Okay. Alright then, I'm gonna go out for a hike. So, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for Cottonwood Meadow. Or Cotton- Cottonwood Creek. Okay, that's down right there by where I was. Okay, so I just- that's- that's not far. Am I gonna meet Delilah there? This is it gonna be happy fun times? Are we gonna talk in person so that we don't have to talk on the radio anymore and then we're not gonna be- you know, Eve drops all over. Eve stroopsed. E e Eve dropsed. Eve drops. Dropped it. Drops. South and west. Okay. Alright, I guess I'm on the way. You know, this is really bizarre because it seems like, you know, I was really like, it was getting me paranoid, like, right before we skipped ahead in time. It was getting really paranoid. Like, I was like, oh shit, something is about to go down. And now, all this subterfuge is kind of like deflating the air out of my balloon. Well, not really. It's not really, like, letting me down at all. It's just, like, I was, like, high tension right there. It was like, oh, shit, things are about to go down. And not that I don't imagine that things aren't still about to go down. It's just, like, I was hoping the murderer would start popping out of the woods on me. Actually, no, that's probably not something that I want to happen. I would rather not have murderers start popping out on the woods all over me. I would rather have nothing popping out all over me. If I can help it. Also, uh, another thing that this game reminds me of that kind of just, uh, clicked with me is, um, did you guys watch me play Colot or play Colot for yourself? Because that was really interesting in that it was kind of like this. I was exploring an area and there was a map, a, you know, region that I could go around, but also it was like an interesting dynamic because I was picking up someone else's thoughts and then later in the game someone started talking to me. It happened to be Sean Bean, but, um, it, it was just kind of like that, but only in a certain way. It's not everything about that. I just wanted to point out the similarity there. Okay. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. 
I said it. You see the cash box there? I said that. Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. Are you kidding Very me? Secure. I was in a rush. So you came all the way out here? Why did you say that? Why did you say that? You didn't come visit me? Oh, for shame. Oh, hello. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Why? Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. Mm -hmm. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Okay. I mean, it seems a lot of me doing things and not us doing things together. I mean, if you're as worried about this as you think, and you came all the way out here to drop it off in a box, right a few feet from my tower... Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that... Went missing a few weeks back. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, we kind of do. I told you that it was worth mentioning, Delilah. Turt Reynolds told you that it was worth mentioning. Why? I trusted you. Okay, which way am I going on this one? There's got to be... There's got to be more to that. I mean, the girls have to be connected with this somehow. That's the only thing that explains. Like, those girls, they had their tent torn up. They had their stuff stolen, ransacked, whatever you want to call it. They were affected, and there was a guy that shone a light at me. So it's all got to be connected somehow, and those girls are, like, at the crux of it. Because they went missing. There's some people at Wapiti Station. The firefighters know about the people at Wapiti Station. What does it all mean? It's all connected somehow, but I'm not able to piece the puzzles together. And I have a sneaking suspicion that Delilah might know more than she's letting on, because it's easy to be swept up in a romance when you're completely alone and isolated and desiring human, you know, uh, comfort when your wife is suffering from Alzheimer's at such an early age and your life is in shambles. So I can see how he would be easily led into this, but I, I don't want to say it's as blatantly obvious as that. Not that that's incredibly obvious, but, you know, you know what I mean. So there's some, there's something going on here and I'm not able to piece it together. All right, here we go. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. You got it. Copy that. Oh, yeah. Here we go! And Sorry, everybody. I gotta end it here. I'm actually completely out of time. Danny's about to come over in, like, 30 minutes, so I gotta get ready. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I will pick this up very soon, and it'll probably be either 45 minutes to an hour. So thanks again, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Try to make it. Damn one hit kill everything. Ah, fuck you! What are you?